How to survive a dust storm or sandstorm Dust and sand storms are among nature's most violent and unpredictable phenomena. High winds lift dirt or sand particles into the air, unleashing a turbulent, suffocating cloud that can reduce visibility to almost nothing in a matter of seconds and cause property damage, injuries, and deaths. No matter where you live, it's a good idea to know what to do if you see a wall of sand racing toward you. Surviving a storm on foot. Put a mask over your nose and mouth. If you have a respirator or mask designed to filter out small particulates, put it on immediately. If you don't have a mask, wrap a bandana or some other piece of cloth around your nose and mouth. A shirt sleeve or a bra works good. Moisten it a bit if you have enough water. Apply a small amount of petroleum jelly to the inside of your nostrils to prevent drying of your mucous membranes. Protect your eyes. Eyeglasses offer minimal protection from blowing dust or sand, but airtight goggles are better. If you don't have goggles, shield your face with your arm as you move, then wrap a piece of cloth tightly around your head to protect your eyes and ears. Look for shelter. Even a parked car will do, so long as it is off the road and not in danger of getting hit. When possible, enclosures are your best bet. However, anything, leeward, shielding you from the direction of the wind of the storm will be better than nothing. Sand will bounce around when it hits objects, so you should still try to cover as much of your skin and face as possible. If you cannot get to shelter, crouch down. It minimizes the chance you'll get hit by something flying. Get to high ground. The densest concentration of sand or dust bounces close to the ground, so the storm will be less forceful at the top of a hill. Seek high ground if you can find a safe, solid, high point, but only if the storm is not accompanied by lightning and there is no danger of being struck by heavier flying debris. Do not lie in a ditch, as flash flooding may occur even if no rain is falling where you are. In the actual dust cloud, rain generally dries up before it reaches the ground, but it may be raining nearby, and ditches, arroyos, and other low-lying areas can quickly flood. If you have a camel, have it sit down and press yourself against its leeward side. Camels are well adapted to surviving in dust storms. If you're in sand dunes, do not seek shelter right on the leeward side of the dune. The high winds can pick up huge amounts of sand very quickly, and you could find yourself being buried in sand. Shield yourself from flying objects. Seek out a large rock or other landform to protect you at least partially. Cover as much of your body as possible to protect yourself from flying sand. Wind-propelled sand can hurt, but a dust storm's high winds can also carry heavier more dangerous objects. If you find yourself without shelter, try to stay low to the ground and protect your head with your arms, a backpack or a pillow. Wait out the storm. Don't try to move through the storm. It's much too dangerous. Stay where you are and wait for it to pass before you attempt to move to a different location. If you can quickly reach such shelter before a dust storm reaches you, get there as quickly as possible and stay inside. Close all windows and doors, and wait out the storm. If you're with other people, stick together to minimize the chances that someone gets lost. 